the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and... Hello, Lily. Hi, buddy. How are you today? I'm really well. That's good. You know why? No. Kiss. Um, you found out you have big ears? Uh, no, silly. Mm. You know what? No, tell me, tell I, me. I got a pet. You have a pet? Yes. What type of pet do you have? A goldfish. Oh, you lucky fish. I mean, the fish is lucky. I don't yes, know. I know. I'm so excited. Well, that's great. And what are you going to call your fish? Oh, that's a tricky one, you know. Because that fish <laughs> is going to have his name for his whole life. I would hope so. Yes. You, you can't just call him Fishy. No, because there's so many fish. That's just fish. So, so what are you going to call him? Are you going to call him Nemo or Dory? That's a, an idea, but... I'll have to think a little while, mm -hmm. um, so you'll have to give me a little chance, but when I see you again, I'll tell you what my fish name is, but I can't wait. Well, your name is nice, it's Lily. Yeah, you've got a nice name too. Buddy, yes. yes. So we have to think of a nice name for your fish. Shall, shall we ask the boys and girls to help think about a name? <laughs> That's a good idea. Okie dokie. Bye. Bye. We all have a place in the world of tomorrow. Tomorrow's church shall be built by you and me. So let's give our hands to the world of tomorrow. Trust in God who makes it happy and free. We work as children, children building castles in the sun. Now we're building tomorrow with the future's in our hands. We all have a voice in the world of tomorrow. Tomorrow's song will be sung by you and me. So let's give our voices to the world of tomorrow. Hello boys and girls. Our story today could be called What's in a Name? I wonder why we're called the names that we're called. All names have meanings. You might know the meaning of your name. My name is Esther and Esther was the name of a queen in the Bible and her name means a star. So my name Esther means a star and it comes from the Hebrew language. Another name in the Bible some of you might be called John. John means God is gracious and it's another Bible name. So lots of our names come from the Bible, not all of them, but all our names have meanings. So you might like to ask your mum or dad after the story today, why did you call me that name? Where does it come from? What does it mean? Well, today we will be thinking about names. 
And we're going back to the Bible, to the time when Jesus was on his journeys around Israel with his disciples, doing all sorts of amazing things. He was healing sick people. He was feeding thousands of people with only loaves and fishes. He was raising people from the dead. And he was telling such wonderful things about the kingdom of God. And people thought, who is this man? Who can he be, this incredible man who is doing all these things? He must be somebody really special. So Jesus said to his disciples, who do people say I am? Who is the Son of Man? Well, this was a big question the disciples had to think. And they said, well, some people think that you are John the Baptist. And other people say that you are Elijah. And still other ones think you're Jeremiah, one of the, pro one of the prophets. Now, these were all very important uh, leaders of the Jewish people. Some of them lived a long, long time ago. And Jesus said to him, Well, who do you say I am? Well, Simon Peter answered straight away, because he knew. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. You didn't hear that from the people round about you. You had that from God, my Father, in heaven. And he gave Peter a very important job to do. He said, from now on, you will be called Peter. The name Peter means a rock. And on this rock, I will build my church. And I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And you know, Peter became the rock on which the church is built. In his lifetime, he carried the news of the kingdom of God to Rome in Italy. And from there, the church spread throughout Europe and the whole world. So, if you're called Peter, now you know why. Peter means a rock. And Peter was strong and dependable and loved God. And he is the one on which God built his church. Welcome to Crazy Kids Corner. Um, today we are making a, we're just doing a drawing of a rock and a church on top. For this you'll need something that is a rectangle, some paper and pens of your choice. I'm using black and brown. To start with you'll want to get one of your colours and make a rock at the bottom. and write Peter in it. Then you'll want to get your rectangle and draw around it with your other with one of your other colours.
then you'll want to put up the side on a thinner rectangle up the side Now you can put it right to the top. Make your church. And you can colour it in, add stuff like a bell on it. You can colour it in. You can add colour to the rest of your church in whatever style you want with your colours. And you can add a door to the front. Once you've done that, you can add colour to the whole of your um, church, but this helps to remind us that Peter is the rock underneath the church that is holding us up. I had an 